Hi guys, it's Sarah here. Uh, today I want to show you guys on how to breed my Madaka fish. So I have a couple of breeds here. I have the transparent Yuzakura here, and then the internal light, and then the sapphire. What I do is I buy those, um, I think it's called kitchen cleanup, some sort of pad, and I made them into mops. And every one day or every two days, I'll come here and collect the eggs. You see one right there. I use a tweezer to collect them, so I don't contaminate them with my hand germs. Um, afterwards, I'll drip a couple drops of uh, methylene blue into a huge water bottle to make the water kind of bluish. And then I put the eggs in here. They usually hatch within a week and a little bit shorter if it's hot, a little bit longer if it's cold, but they cannot live in methylene blue for too long. So you want to scoot them out once they hatch. What to, what to do within the container is you want to replace the methylene blue water just a little bit day by day to make sure that there's no smell wear. And some of the eggs will have mold in them. For example, if you see one right there, I think two of them actually are infertile, so eventually they'll grow mold. What you want to do is actually use a tweezer to kind of get them out so they don't get the other eggs moldy as well. And just wanted to show you guys my grow-out tank. I keep them in green water. I don't do anything to actually get the green water. The sun is pretty strong in my area. So eventually it will become green water. And then I have an automatic feeder. I have some powdered food. What I found is um, I just buy those flake foods and I crush them into very, very fine powder. And that plus the green water, they grow up nice. Not as fast as when you feed live foods. But they'll be pretty healthy. Thanks for watching.